Hello, this is Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to grow a salad mix in a container. Now first looking at last year's container, which is a whiskey barrel, I'm looking to see what's in here, and as I'm kind of scrounging around to see, it looks like it's a bunch of old kale that overwintered some baby kale that I planted late in the fall, and it made it through the winter. It's still alive, but uh, I've got to get rid of that. Now we're going to grow loose leaf lettuce. And so today, while I'm cleaning out the barrel, I'm going to explain to you kind of the dynamics of when to grow lettuce, why to grow lettuce in a barrel, you know, those types of dynamics. First off, barrels are nice with, with salad greens because they're up off the ground. They keep the bu bugs and other pests from finding the lettuce. So I prefer to, to grow in a container because it's a lot cleaner when it goes to harvest and there's a lot less bug damage. Also, uh, lettuce is an early spring crop, and it, a lot of times it'll go to seed when the, when the sun heats up. And being in Utah Zone 5, it does get hot pretty early in the summer. So I can take this container and I can move it around the yard and find some shade so that I can extend the harvest. Now here I cleaned out all the kale and I'm adding a little more growing mix. Okay, Lettuce mixes do not have deep roots, so it's okay to leave the old mix at the bottom and just add some to the top so that you don't you know, have to buy a whole bunch of mix. You just want the fertility at the top. Never put regular garden soil in a, in a container garden because it'll just turn to concrete with the sun. So you need to have a nice, fluffy potting mix. Now these are what I'm growing in the, in the mix today. We have some lettuce, different types of arugula. We have arugula, mustard, and I'm also throwing in some radishes. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit, uh, why I would do that with a lettuce mix. First thing I'm going to do is show you how I decide how I'm going to mix the seeds together to plant. What I like to do so that I have an already pre-mixed salad is I tear open all the containers and I will individually dump the seeds all into one of the containers. Here's the, taking a look at uh, how small the seeds are. They're very tiny. So what I'm going to do is, as clumsily as I can here, it looks like, is I'm going to tear them all open and uh, try to get them open and get the seeds in one pack. And then what I'll do is I shake it all up and I plant it as a scattered, uh, just scattered on the top of the soil. And I mentioned radishes earlier, and I like to put radishes in this mix also because radishes are an early uh, grower. It takes probably 28 days. So by the time the radishes are done, I can pull those out and it helps thin the, the lettuce a little bit. So you can kind of get a double harvest uh, out, of, uh, out of the mix. And also, if the salad greens are up and, and ready, we can have some radishes to cut and uh, throw in the salad also. So again, it takes a little time for me to clumsily get through all these packs, but we'll get through it. Now, some people want to grow head lettuce. Um, I'm not a big fan of head lettuce. Uh, I don't think it has the flavor um, that these uh, loose leaf mixes have, um, but it, it is still good. Now, when you plant spinach, I plant spinach in a separate container because spinach is one of those vegetables that's the first to bolt in the heat. So it's better to plant it in the fall, have a fall crop, mulch it well, overwinter it, and then uh, have it some you know fresh spinach as early as you can in the spring before it goes to, to bolt, but I didn't do that last year. So here, um, there's no spinach in this mix. I am just mixing up the seeds of just loose leaf, radish, and it's got mustard and a little arugula in there. And uh, when, you, when it all comes up and grows together, it makes a very tasty salad. Now here's the mix of the different seeds. Now, lettuce is about as easy as it is to plant. You just sprinkle it on the surface. Doesn't matter if it's thick, if you're too much there, that's fine. You can always thin it later or or it just grows together. And then after you've done sprinkling it on top, I've got a little leftover in this pack for another barrel, is you just take a little bit of soil and you cover it with about a quarter inch. Now here's Mr. Lincoln. He's coming to visit. Uh, he's saying hello. Now here's some more potting mix. Again, I'm not going to use garden soil. I'm using a... a Pre-mix potting mix. It's got a little fertility in it. Um, you know, you can always, different people like to fertilize in different ways. Organically, I find that containers are tough, although you can use kelp meal and seaweed and, and uh, different mixtures for a liquid fertilizer that's, that's all natural. But I use a little bit of miracle Grow products in my barrels just because it, uh, it helps the fertility. Now here is, is the lettuce as, as it comes up in the barrel, as you'll see, and there's some spinach coming up in the barrels. And you see how tender and luscious this, these greens are. 
and as it grows, it kind of grows taller, comes together, and then pretty soon you have a great mix of salad. And all you need to do for it is take scissors and cut it. Don't pull it. Just cut it and make yourself a salad and it'll grow back and you'll have multiple cuttings. To the planting, uh, once you're done, make sure you water it in well. I've got my pot in a uh, area where my sprinklers hit it so it'll keep it moist on its own. But if you put a container on a patio, make sure that you're watering it daily. Um, taking a little walk over to the chickens to give them the, the kale from last year. If you like this content, please subscribe and like and share. And I hope you can join me on my journey to continue to find my rural happiness in the city life. These chickens are going to love this. They haven't had many greens so far this year. Have a great day.